Hey everybody, it's Karen and Stephanie with Food and Family. St. Patrick's Day is just a few days away, like what, a week? A week. A week away. And we're making some cold cannon. Have you ever had cold cannon? It's mashed potatoes and it has um, green onions in it and it has baby kale or you can use like a Savoy cabbage or a Napa cabbage. We're using some baby kale today and we're gonna wilt this down and mix it with those potatoes and it's gonna be so yummy. So let us show you how we're gonna do it. I have four medium to large russet potatoes that I've cut up and I'm gonna put them back on the stove and let them boil and get tender so we can cream them up. And Stephanie's gonna show you what she's gonna do in this frying pan. All right, so to the pan for the green portion, we're gonna add a stick of butter. Now I'm adding my salt now, and I know it hasn't come to a boil, but it's in with my potatoes. If I was just bringing water to a boil, like for pasta, I would not salt my water yet. Y'all have heard me talk about that. So we're melting a stick of butter. You can't go wrong butter. when you start with <laughs> butter, can you? Butter, potatoes, and greens. Yeah. All right, and now we're going to add, what was this, two? Um, I, four. Four green four onions. Four green onions, chopped. And then you're gonna add three cups of your greens. We're using kale, you can use cabbage. We've got it stuffed in there pretty tight. And it won't take anything to wilt that kale down. Grains just, they cook up in just a matter of time. And we're using salted butter. So we gotta be really careful with the amount of salt. And I put salt in the potatoes. So we may not need to add any more salt. And so now we're just going to wait on the greens to wilt and soften up to go with the potatoes. And that'll probably only take, what you think, two or three minutes at the yeah, most. Yeah, about three minutes. Two or three minutes. My grandmother, have you ever had this, Stephanie? My granny would take, y'all hear me talk about my granny a lot, mustard greens. Oh, yes. Put raw mustard grains in her bowl, and she would cut up green onion and put it over it. And then she would fry salt pork. Oh. Have you ever had salt pork? Strickling, they call it. And pour that grease over those mustard grains. Now, that's a heart attack waiting to happen. Well, that's a good heart attack waiting to happen. But it is so stinking delicious, and I have not had that in probably 50 years, literally. Um, and you can you see in that pot how much that has wilted already? Okay, so Stephanie has the kale and the onions cooked in the butter. Our potatoes are done, and I'm going to grab those off the stove and drain them, and then we're going to go back and cream them up. Oh, y'all, I can taste this already. I'm so ready for this. And this mixture right here smells fabulous. Oh, it does. If you have never had this, you need to try it. This will be my first time having it. I've had it one other time, but it was several years ago. And this makes a lot. So Stephanie can take some home to Brandon and Parker. All right. So we're going to cream these up, so y'all forgive me with the noise. Let me get these creamed up, and then we'll come back after they're finished. It won't take but a minute. Okay, I'm going to pour the cream in. We've got one cup of heavy cream. It's got to be good. All this butter and then the heavy cream. <laughs> Can y'all tell we get so excited? Good food is just exciting. Now look at that. That's a full stick of butter. 
a cup of heavy cream, three cups of baby kale. And then you just mix it. And four medium to large russet potatoes. And that's it. How beautiful is that dish? Looky there. Let's get us a spoon. Let's dip us out some. And we're going to try it. And if anybody has a recipe for cold cannon that's different than this, please share it with us. You ready? We're going to try this together. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Guys. But Stephanie, I have something I want us to try. What's that? Mm. We made an Irish stew. And we're going to share it with you. The recipe. But right now... I think we're going to try some of that with these potatoes. Oh, my goodness. We made an, what do we call it? A Guinness, a Guinness Irish stew. Guinness Irish stew. My goodness, I think we need to put some on. Oh, honey. And now, don't put quite as much meat on mine. There you go. I like lots of juice. Oh. <laughs> Looky here. Oh my word. We're. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That belongs together. If you think those potatoes were good on their own, you pour you a ladle full of that stew on top of it. You've got to try this, guys. I'm so excited about this video. I want you to make this. And if you do, please let us know. And let us know what you think about it. All right? We appreciate every one of you and we appreciate you watching our videos and sharing please share our channel and we'll be talking to you soon bye everybody